<laughs> like, this is, like, the ultimate in cringe from, like, like shit I made, and I'm so happy like, it's, it exists. It's like, because, like, like, in later stuff you did, you still, like, did have this weird video game, like, yeah. controls are it, are part of the story in the book, and it's like, but they're, but the person reading it can't do these things. Snake <laughs> but you can do these much. things! <laughs> Yeah. You can do these things. It's a very interactive book. It's it's it is, it is, it is the Captain Underpants of books. So anyway, <laughs> chapter two, the power blast. Oh uh, dude, it looks pretty cool. It's like sparkles. They oh. defeated Irwin. Lee. Oh, it's the shit. Pat took it well y- actually, you defeated Irwin. <laughs> Hell yeah. I was defeating Ir that was Pat took a green transparent ball. It sparkles and le- it sparkles and leaves a sparkle. The Cancun bird got there before Lucemia dissolved. Sorry, what? <laughs> Hold on. Was uh, that was that like Let me try that again. Did you Pat took a green transparent ball. It sparkles and <laughs> leaves a sparkle. The Cancun bird got there before Lucemia dissolved. It okay, and so leave so a what happened here, right? <laughs> Is you translated that all into Chinese and back into English and then wrote it down, right? That does look like a fucking tra- like Chinese like, yeah. like web page you just translated. It's like download to virus and give a virus. Uh, the Cancun bird is actually a, a thing in in Legend of Mana, and it does like save your ass from this. Ugh. And sparkles and leave a sparkle. <laughs> and it does sparkles and leave a sparkle. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Sparkle. Matilda died with him. They went to the temple. Pat didn't notice the ball had a missing piece. Oh, shit. Esked and Diana rested inside the temple. It broke down and they fell and died. What? <laughs> They're just dead? This chapter two. <laughs> Pat got mad and threw the ball. They went back in time. Diana and Eskad are going into the temple. Pat stopped them. The temple broke. Wait. The temple just, bro- just stopped? Does this stuff mean it fell apart? Or is it just like, it, it just stopped being a temple? <laughs> it broke. <laughs> it just broke. It broke. Because <laughs> <laughs> like, that just implies it stopped working. <laughs> it's a building. Does that mean it fell down? Or is it just like, does it stop being a temple? It, it broke. Oh, okay. Pretty much what happened here is Dan and Esked like walked into the thing and the whole building collapsed, killing them. I got pissed off, so I threw that big ball and it just brought me back in time so I could stop them from doing what they just did. Oh my god, what? Yeah. I'm s I've I am very confused. Yep. Esked and Dan decided to leave their to to leave go their different ways and said goodbye. And left, and you can kind of see a little G here. Ah, uh, it's, the, it's the symbol, sort of, yeah. yeah I, I was like, oh shit, I forgot to draw that in. How are they going to know that they left? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is like, they left. Yeah. It's like, oh yeah, this is the they left symbol. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Pat found a pebble, and it fit in the ball. He knew he would win every battle. Hell yeah. A pebble fit in the ball, now I can win every bo- Every bottle. <laughs> Every bat left. Why would I know that? You just know. <laughs> Chapter 3, Aura versus Shade. And you also played the game, so I mean, you know. <laughs> so you know what happens. No, like, the Power Blast, I don't think, had anything to do with it. Well, of course not. I mean, it's just, you just know what happens, so you know. And I guess that's what the Power Blast is? Yeah, it's... It's like a, a ball that a makes sparkle. you go back in time? It, no, it's a, it's like a Baja Blast. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's that's Mountain Dew's new flavor. The, Power Blast. Oh, chapter 3, Aura versus Shade. The Aura borrowed Pat's power, because Shade and Aura declared war, and they need power. Well, yeah, and they also need power. Yeah. So, Reasonable. Like, he, Reasonable. He, like, beams power from me. Oh, no! Shade used an iron, sp- iron spider for his power. This is an iron spider. Uh, Not an iron spider. He's just like, yeah, this is what I want to host me. Yeah, you big crazy. I would pick that. I mean, a big giant crazy like iron 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 spider, whatever, iron. whatever yeah. fucking fantasy element that is. Yeah, iron, iron spider, iron spider. Iron. The, it's rules, the iron spider. 
The rules for spiritual battle are you take someone else's power and use it in battle. If Aura dies, Pat dies with them. If Shade oh. dies, the Iron Spider this dies with them. This is fucking Avatar now. Sure, yeah. The Aura and Shade went into the spiritual arena. The magic pots, which are these... Huh. ...were, were cheering. What? Yeah, the you magic know. pots were cheering. Come on! Cheer. What, you don't understand this? It's not like fucking Elder God wrote this. <laughs> you can't understand what the fuck this means. If I could decipher this, I might go crazy. Aura shot his 14 golden beams. Whoa! He has 14! Shade shot his black dust. Oh, gross! They kept fighting. The pots cracked to the ground. When they get to the middle, it breaks. They have one minute to battle. Wait, what? Oh, God, another one of these things. How or a one activity. <laughs> oh, borrow oh. your friend's power. <laughs> did your, did your like, parents, like, get mad at you for, like, reading too much and were just like, you need to exercise? Because, like... Cause, like no, was, this is something I legitimately thought, found cool when I was a child. Because it's crazy. It just feels like the most shorn thing I've ever seen. Yeah. Like, just, yeah, just... You have to do exercises while you read because it's you're, you're just getting fat just reading. <laughs> <laughs> you need to, you need to do exercises too. <laughs> and I like how it ends. That's how a spirit beats another spirit. <laughs> that right there is how spirit beats another spirit. So, so that I don't have to like write out a fight scene. I just like put like battle commands. I like, I like, like a tool assisted like, speed run. Yeah, you here. like invented battle commands, which is way more like like work than just t- writing out the, how the fight went. <laughs> I don't know. Honestly, I think this does a way better job describing what happened than anything I would have wrote But back it only then. describes <laughs> yeah. what one of the characters did. We don't know what the opponent was doing. So, yeah. like, what the fuck, dude? I like that one symbol that just looks like Come a kind on. of, like, do- Dr. Pepper. <laughs> dude. I'm thirsty now. Which one? It's also one that kind of looks like a pizza from back Sponsored here. Sponsored by Dr. No, Pepper. Not pizza. Which one's the Dr. Pepper? Oh, uh, way on the on the right. The Sponsors. One, the second one down. No, like on the, in the, that, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a can of soda. Yeah. But, but you'll find that a timer is required for all of these. Yeah, you gotta do all those like getting actions in egg timer. Minute. Which is why, like, in the plot, it's just like, there are these pots that are cracking the ground. And then everything's gonna, like, go to hell when that happens, so watch the fuck out. Chapter 4, Dragon X. Aura gave back more power than Pat gave. Oh. He he gives him new armor and sword. Aura goes away. No G. What? I guess they never never teamed up. Yeah, they they, they didn't team up, so. Oh, I guess it's true. They had to team up. They they kept it consistent. I mean, they did because they never teamed up, because they wouldn't have to go away. Yeah, I mean, the only way I know. Uh, Pat climbed up the volcano, because there's a volcano, uh, he found a silver rock. He studied it, and it had a key picture on it. It looked like that. Ah, uh, damn. So he went in, and he found a circle. He went jump, block, jump, <laughs> no, attack, <laughs> block, here too. jump, and down attack, and he beat the circle. He, he beat, beat the circle. The circle. The circle. <laughs> he beat the square with attack. Dash forward, duck, rising attack, and regular attack. You'd have made awesome games back in the 80s. <laughs> and I, <laughs> in my new armor, I've got a crown. Circle, like a royal crown. Dude. That's... Puffy stuff. <laughs> there, was a, there was a big door there with a slot. He put the silver rock in and it opened. He beat the stinger with jump down attack. God damn it. <laughs> duck rising attack, block and attack. It's like it's like a play by play like being read for like so, AGDQ or something. What's what's great is like it's it's this big like stairway that's constantly going down in a spiral. And there are all these tiny little shitty enemies and like that all have names like Stinger and Yeah the Star. And, and like, the, and I describe this is like this is how that guy dies. And there's like a right here. Bed. Oh well, I was thinking that was like a checkpoint or a finish line. Or oh something. no, it does. Yeah. It, looks like, it looks like this is like <laughs> Rainbow Road. <laughs> it's like, it like should just, just, just say like keep going and have a little Nike symbol on it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, it it looks like you just drew Rainbow Road, 
And you just like you just there's the finish line and you know everybody's falling off. <laughs> right over there. Uh, jump and down attack. He found Dragon X. He was on a platform. The lava rises, so they have one minute. He's oh fighting Bowser right now. <laughs> oh <Yeah>. my god. <laughs> I love that picture right there. That he's got so like a true. like a fucking riot police shield. <laughs> like he's like, all right, dragon, stop with the protest. He's just like firing pepper spray at him. <laughs> yeah. I'm a dragon that hoards pepper spray, and I demand more pepper spray. And then they spray him, and he's like, "Thank you, <laughs> thanks." Finally, someone knows what the people want. So then, some more of this. That's how the knight beats a dragon. That's how the knight yeah. beats that right there is how the knight yeah. beats a dragon. That this this is like any time you see a dragon do exactly this, like take these actions exactly. Jump, then do a downward attack, <laughs> then block, then attack, then back up, then do a dash attack, then duck, <laughs> then do a rising attack, then block, then dash forwards and attack, then duck, then do a rising attack, then block. <laughs> Then attack, then block, uh, and so on. Uh, <laughs> what the f- oh, around right. So like, like uh, do a soul caliber like shift. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I, yeah. I, like, I like. You do that, then you block, then you do it the other way back to where you were before, and you block again. It's like then you jump in it. It's like <laughs> yeah. It's like you imagine like a, a military. Congratulations! Thing. If you won all three battle activities, you've become the bronze trophy winner. Dude. Go ahead and cut this out. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Do you see why oh I was so god. excited to show you guys this? God damn! Oh my! It's like you were you like. As a child, we're like trying what every like executive ever was trying to do to get kids to read by making a book not a book. Yeah. <laughs> like, look, cut this fucker out of your fucking book you spent thirty dollars on. <laughs> yeah. And just like keep that somewhere that you won't lose it, which will be I inside do the book. On the, on the back cover of the oh, book. Shit. There there was like a spot for three of those where you could glue them. <laughs> Oh, God. But then, like, you could just go to the end of the book and just cut them all out if you knew about them. But then, uh, well, yeah. But then you wouldn't become the bronze... You wouldn't... You wouldn't have the honor associated. <laughs> you know, like, you wouldn't have to... You wouldn't be able to tell all your friends you that you went through the activities in Power Blast and you LARPed them all out and you won the bronze trophy and you, glued them to the back... You would just be the bronze trophy holder. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. <sighs> just like, like, hey kids. Sometimes I like to brag to all my friends that I just <laughs> that I that I've got this like that, badly drawn trophy. <laughs> that it's kind of like a box I got with like from a larping a book. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. What the, f- like. Uh, Dragon eyes. <laughs> Where there's oh, I thought, that was, I thought no, it was that gonna was be, just the bronze I thought it was trophy. Just gonna be tro- I thought it was gonna be trophies from now on. I was like, oh, I can see the achievements. This fucking <laughs> book has achievements. It does. <laughs> <laughs> the second source of power is the armoro and the sword in. Fuck you. They gave Pat power. New sword and armor. Which is what the armoro and the sword in do. It's a new sword and also. <laughs> <laughs> and so that's what I look like now. And there are little spikes coming off the sword and a little mace head it at looked, the end. It looks yeah. like it's just like an ugly stick. It's just a fucking bat with nails in it. So he went and found a baby dragon. Baby dragon. The baby dragon said, Hi, my name is Dragonaut, and I want to be your friend. Team, Team up. up! Dragonaut wanted to battle, so he found something to fight. There was a ground pool... Oh, shit. So they had one minute to battle until they fall in. Yeah, you know. Ground pool? A ground <laughs> pool. Someone just has, like, an in-ground pool, and they're like, all right, we or have 60 seconds before I jump into that fucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, like, 
Like, is it just like the ground is supposed to be warping? Like, is it yeah, like, what like it is a is, whirlpool in the ground? Yeah, that's what that is, and it's supposed to be expanding. Oh. And they have to fight here because they can't move it anywhere else. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, because then it's not a fight, it's a tournament. Yeah, and they're standing on this bridge <laughs> over this void. <laughs> There's a ground pool, but they're gonna like, they have one minute to fight until they fall into the ground pool. <laughs> Dude, if they fall in that ground pool, then they're going to have gonna... a wicked awesome summer, dude. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to get their clothes all wet and mom's going to be mad. Yeah, man, I don't want mom to get mad. Activity. Oh, yeah, this is how Dragonaut won. Uh, there's Slash, I guess that's with claws. Uh, yeah. Right, Slash. And then Burn. So you got to burn them a couple times. Well, yeah. yeah. That's crazy. how Dragon beats a Chain X. <laughs> which is that. That's a Chain X? That's a Chain X. I'm That's a Chain X! They kept walking and found a Lightning Man. A Lightning he threw Man? crack pots in the corners. Wait. They shot Lightning and so, crack the ground. So, there's a guy made out of Lightning that's just throwing Ancient Aliens guy yeah. at you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and like many other crackpots. Yeah, there's just like uh, he he had like four conspiracy theorists riding around on his shoulders. He threw yeah, them he in the corners just, and fucking. I want to throw crackpots at you. <laughs> it's like, oh no, this guy's about nine eleven conspiracies shit. What I really like about this is the what these lightning pot they shoot lightning out of the pots. Yeah, but they don't strike them. They just hit the ground, and it makes the ground crack, and it's going to make the whole thing just fall. Yeah. that yeah. That's well, what those things do. They, they fill up the ground underneath with lightning, so there's a big cavity underneath, <laughs> and if it cracks, it'll fall in, and, uh, sure. <laughs> it's like electricity just fucking, like... So, how Pat and that. Dragon out one. This one you do with a... F- requirements. Friend and timer, which you don't have because if you're doing you just... the uh, activities in this book. <laughs> and, it's like we both gotta do this. Right, you be the dragon, I'll be the knight. The knight. And I wonder if how this would look. So like, he's, so you both attack each other. So that hurts. Um, you go yell to get mom. No, no, then... they're they're not fighting each other. Oh. We're fighting the invisible lightning enemy together. Oh, dude, so it's like watching two people play fucking Sonic uh, Free Riders. The, the zero. <laughs> That's how one. a knight and a dragon beats a lightning man. <laughs> <laughs> I love how like it's like alright do this in tandem ready one two three four <laughs> and then yeah, you like, both have to do the action you gotta learn this like weird dance <laughs> and it's just like you you act like a dragon I'll act like a knight like what is, I like the horde stuff um uh, <laughs> chapter uh, six kill peasants. love and <laughs> marriage Love and marriage, love and marriage, go together like a horse and carriage. Dragonaut gave Pat new armor somehow, and a sword by swishing his tail and shooting evolution rate. Okay. Hold on, now you've lost me. Whoa! Okay, you've got, you've just got a laser beam that just makes people evolve. It's it's not written down, but you, you also see there like you got the uh, the defenders and the uh, offensive line, yeah, both coming in <laughs> trying to like stop whatever this yeah, is I from think, happening. I think what's going on here, you, you really well, got to take care of a football right here. If you take your uh, if you take your dragon out and you walk in there and you just like push him forward and then you just you show him who's boss, you're really gonna have a good game football. Honestly, if Pat evolved from Pat, why isn't there still Pat? <laughs> <laughs> this is bullshit. Uh, they found a fair. They picked Pat and Dragonaut for the play, and someone named Glist to do the play. The play looks like it's just money on a conveyor belt. So they're like, alright, we got this play... I'm going to find some strangers to be our actors in it. Yeah. <laughs> They're going to do some improv anywhere real quick. It's like, hey, you guy on the street, do you want to do some action commands? Uh, Pat played Olik the Slayer. Dragonaut played... Such a rich universe. Anthus? They're just having a no, play now. Aloranthus. So wait, they, beat, they already beat the final boss guy, right? Why are they having to play? Because this is another arc. Oh, that's right. Well, they beat, uh... 
Jeff. A lightning man. <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> Shane X and Jeff. a lightning man. Hardly a final boss. That's true, I guess. They did beat Irwin right away. Yeah, well. I think Aloranthus was a character in Legend of Dragoon, like one of the dragons. Was that? I, I don't. It's me. I don't remember. It might not be. It probably isn't. I probably just came up with that name. So, Oleg the Slayer, Dragonat played, and Glist played the evil Wizard. Whoa! What's a Wizard? Uh, I think that's Wizard. Uh, Wizard. Then, uh, Utig came after the battle and played a song below. Then the play was over. The song on flute activity requirements. A flute. So you just and, and play the look song at this. time. They're whole notes. All of them are whole notes. Yeah. So it's like... <laughs> yeah. You're signaling the saucer. <laughs> it's like it's fucking... <laughs> Fuck. It's just this really shitty droning song. <laughs> Really, you should play that on recorder just to make it, like... <laughs> no, play on the kazoo. <laughs> and have some fun, 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 <laughs> Kazoo! <laughs> uh, then Glist liked Pat, but Dragonaut did not like Glist. Glist gave Pat a new sword and armor. Dragonaut changed Pat back into the armor and sword Dragonaut gave. So they're just, like, giving him new shit and, I like, like if taking you it back. I like if you don't read... Up there and just look at the picture. It's like a man with the shirt and pants are too big. Is really uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. All that evil Pillsbury Doughboy traps someone in a gigantic fucking light bulb. <laughs> like I don't even. It's like, this isn't. That's like I just look at that and just go like that. What that says up there is not what's happening. <laughs> yeah. Here. So they're fighting over giving me their oh, armor. Shirt's too big. Yeah, yeah smaller shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> they changed Pat's armor back and forth until they changed him at the same time. Then Pat turned into an evil metal day destroyer. <laughs> day? Oh, that's so much more. That's so much more like fighter of the night destroyer. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Champion of the sun. <laughs> he's so much worse than a destroyer because he just he's a day destroyer. He destroys. The and he Yay! was, and he, he was an evil metal day destroyer, Dertosis. Dertosis. I I don't know what that. Is. I don't know. We're heading towards the G Square, which will break the place. Yeah, this place is gonna get broke. Oh, that's the G Square, and yeah. I'm, I'm running towards the G spot, and that'll break the place. Yeah. <laughs> get get the G spot, that'll break the place. <laughs> Make a beeline for the G spot. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Glist and Drag not one. You have twenty seconds. You need a friend. Uh, dra <laughs> drag <laughs> one gets to be Glist, this like wizard lady, and one gets to be Dragonot, a dragon, and they both hate like you. <laughs> well, they both hate each other, but they're fighting for your affection. Yeah, well, they were. Or the enemy's affection. Man. Congratulations, if you did all three activities after the bronze trophy, you won the silver trophy. Cut that shit out. <laughs> Just cut that shit out. Cut that shit cut out. Cut that shit out. Hey, I told you to cut that shit out. Chapter 7, Laser Snake. <laughs> okay, this is gonna better be the best one, because, like, it's called oh, Laser Snake. Oh, you're gonna be disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. A few years went by, and Glist and Pat got married. Team up. <laughs> <laughs> like you get fucking like like it's like some is like your spouse has joined the party like like there's a fucking that, stupid like, like I can't be noise. messing around with dragons and and uh, cat women and like long haired soldier men I I need it's time to settle down it's time. <laughs> team up with somebody I love. <laughs> Someone who I want to be teamed up with for the rest of my life. And then, like, two pages later, it's got the, good, <laughs> the goodbye one. Goodbye, and then you're, like, over half your house and shit. Yeah, it's like, did you sign the prenup? <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> symbol. Just goodbye symbol. <laughs> just, just, that's, just that, 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 you could use that for so many different And then the things. next arc is, like, trying to get over your freaking ex-wife. It's like, it's like self-respect. Goodbye symbol. <laughs> It's like fucking like you know like Scott Pilgrim. Yeah, well, yeah, kind of. But it's, it's more it's more just like using that as like your way of 
Like, sh- like showing yeah. something leaving you is just putting the big G next to it. <laughs> yeah. It's like, look, we've been together for a long time, but uh, you don't respect me and you don't really do anything, so uh, I'm going to give you the big G. <laughs> <laughs> but Dragonite got mad and relit the torches and left. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, shit. So he just, like, burned the torches because he was pissed, I guess. Sure. Whatever. So Dragonaut's like, oh, fuck you, Yoko Ono, breaking up the Beatles, which is us. Yeah. And I'm it's... leaving. <laughs> I'll go do action activities somebody else. <laughs> um, I don't require a friend. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll do it by myself in my room. I don't require a friend for this. I can get the gold trophy on my own. He's just, like, jumping and squatting Dragon- and swiping his hands. There should be a book about Dragonaut's solo career. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, like, for some and reason... it's not nearly as good. This. He starts a band called Laser Snake. That's how it ends. Oh, that's that's the end. Oh. Ah, dude. Like, that. that's all I got. Well, I think it's about time we give everybody a big G. <laughs> Wasn't that the best? Oh, that was great! I like it's just like if I really you like put achievements in a book. That's like the biggest sin <laughs> entertainment you could possibly commit. <laughs> Taking a book and being like, "Here's your achievement," you know, you fucking like, you fucking hey, you're reading this book about a guy that like fucking like runs ra- trains into each other. Oh yeah, well you hit the the girl that you tied to the railroad tracks dastardly. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> Like, just fucking adding achievements from other from video games into your book. <laughs> Congratulations! You killed Piggy, which was a symbol of intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, 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 fucking, yeah, like, they kill... 300 they kill, gamer score. <laughs> like, like, Piggy breaks his glasses on fucking Lord of the Flies, and you just get an achievement that just says, like, Lord of the Pies, am I right, Piggy? <laughs> yeah. Huh? Lord of the Pies? Or, like, some... Dumb shit like that. Just ruin books with that shit. <laughs> <laughs> like Moby Dick. Like Captain Ahab gets eaten and shit. And it's just like owned. Yeah, just 700 <laughs> gamers. <laughs> just <store. owned>. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. That would just be the best to release books that just had like. And it's gotta be like. They gotta have like electronic, like, uh, like voice recorders in them, so, like, when you open the page, it does that. It just says the damn thing really <laughs> loud, and it doesn't stop playing until you're done, so you just have, like, the book screaming <laughs> achievements at you until you, like, close it all the way. <laughs> well, like you said before, we're gonna have to give you the G. Brrr.